Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I have some explaining to do, because, um, I was playing on an emulator before, and, um, it crashed on me in the second part, so, yeah. I found this copy in my room, which is kind of cool. It's for the GameCube, but, you know. Yep, see, GameCube. It can't save as fast as the N64. See? That's not too bad, I suppose. I mean, it's the same game, essentially, except for the it's red and green instead of uh, blue and green. Eh. Eh, well. It's not that bad, I guess. Anyway, I think I'm going to take a time here to explain the uh, menu screen. This is the select item screen. You can put any item in any of these items that you can you have and you can use in the right, down, and left uh, C buttons. So, that's basically your item usage. Here's your equipment. Um, select on screen, you can equip your basic sword, shield, tunic, and boots here. Um, since I only have one of each, I can only equip those. Um, later in the game, you get more. Um, those boxes on the uh, left side are just like power-ups that I haven't gotten yet, because this is the beginning. Here's the quest status. You have places for various things that you get along your journey. Here's some songs that you learn from the music notes, some heart pieces, and some upgrades that I can't use, I'm pretty sure. I will. Here's your map. Um... Since I'm outside of a dungeon, it's actually just a world map, so, um, it shows every place I've been to yet, which right now is only Kokiri Forest, so yeah, it's not that, but when I go into a, uh, dungeon, it'll, it'll actually turn to a different kind of map, it'll turn to a dungeon map, which is kind of cool, so yeah, um, now that we are done with that, uh, let's go back, let's just go right into the, uh, Deku Tree. I don't know, I feel more natural recording this on an emulator, or on a non-emulator anyways, because, um, I don't know, I just feel weird. Recording with emulators, it's, it's, you have to do so much, and the crash, you have to deal with crashes and corrupted da data and all that junk. So, yeah, um, here we got our next item. That was our second enemy, by the way, technically our first still. Gaijuki Nut. Alright, put it set to see and try it. It will basically stun everything that you can. Um, these are the next general enemy. They're the Deku Babas, but they're not. Well, that one was, but they're not fully you know, like erect, like they were <laughs> sexually no no here. Um, you want to get as many Deku sticks as possible, considering I use Deku sticks all the time as a kid. Eh, spoiler alert. Eh, if you haven't played this game, I don't know. I eh, might have, not have. Some of my fans might not play Ocarina of Time. I know one person that didn't. I'm not saying who. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. This this temple is extremely straightforward. It's all just tutorials on chests and doors and certain puzzles and diving and all that junk. Uh, let's open this chest right here. Ooh, it's shiny. I wonder what it is. Probably not paper. <laughs> I don't get that. How come every chest in this game is freaking... It shines and glistens. I don't get that. Anyways, we got the dungeon map. Basically, that this is what turns our map or our subscreen into a different uh, subscreen. It basically says the blue rooms are the ones we haven't gone to, and the flashing rooms are the ones we haven't. And there's different floors you can go onto. See, this like this one's five floors long or five floors tall, I guess. I mean, it is a tree, so it's kind of tall. You have to expect that, but um, yeah, um, this is base. This is a very straightforward dungeon, except for you spend kind of a lot of time in B1. That's a majority of the dungeon. Shut up, Navi. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. Nah, yeah, shut up. Oh, a door. Ugh. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the green icon at the top of the screen. It's kind of funny that they put in green instead of blue. I would have left this if it said blue. Ooh, look at a Deku Baba. Or wait, no, that's not true. It's a... This is a DQ though, definitely. Oh, 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 forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold forward, you will roll on the ground. When you land, you won't get hurt from it. Fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really high. Really high. <laughs> well, try if you are feeling bold. Wahaha. God, it sounds like Wario. <laughs> Sorry for my bad Wario impression. Okay. Um, ooh, eh, ah, falling platform. Link is an acrobat. Ooh, no treasure chest. So shiny. Another glimmering object. That's what I'm gonna call it in this LP, glimmering object. 
you found the fairy slingshot. You can set it to left, right, or down. Use C to take it out and hold it. As you hold C, you can aim with directional pad. Release seed to unleash a DQ seed. If you want to shoot right away, when you first use C, hold down C a little longer to get a seed ready. Wonderful. Now let's clip through real fast. And shoot the ladder. How do I get down here? Ah, eh, well. I'm not gonna question it. Happens to me a lot, actually. Okay. So that DQ, I think it's a DQ, I think it's just a DQ. Like, DQ was, like, legit. I don't know why it's called a DQ tree. I mean, there's a lot of DQs in here, but yeah, whatever. And these, those are skull tullas. You want to kill those, because if you're climbing on vines and they see you, they will hurt you. They will chase after you and hurt you. So, that's not good. Um, what you want to do, basically, is if they see you on a wall, just stop. Like, they'll turn purple. That's the indication if they've seen you or not. Um, they'll turn purple, and that's how you know to stop. Because if you if you stop, they're basically like dinosaurs. If they can't see you, they won't attack you. Or if they can't see you moving, that is. So yeah. Oh, crap. Ooh. Area. Switchy. This is introduction to our timer, basically. Um... As that jing little jingle you hear gets faster and faster, um, you know the timer's almost up, so. We come in here, and we get our compass! It's actually the shiny thing, because it's actually glass. It can actually make that shimmering, but not that much, because it's still ridiculous. Yeah. Give me your tiku stick. Yeah, you know when you're going to turn into a DQ stick when they go completely flat and you hit them. Otherwise, they'll turn to DQ nuts. So, yeah. Um, I need to get that chest, chest, chest over there because I think there's something. I think it's just a heart, but eh, I don't care. By the way, I could probably have this whole... Oh, crap. Skipping you. Don't care. Ooh, a DQ, a gold scotilla. I'll explain the gold scotilla is. Yeah, it's just a harp. I think the actual reward is a gold scotilla. Um, these are gold scotillas. They take more hits to kill. But when you kill them, you get a gold scotilla token. Um, I'm not going for these. I'm not going for 100% of these because the reward is awful. Um, it's not worth it. It's 200 rupees, but you can get as many times as you want. It's not worth it because you don't really need a, a lot of rupees in this game unless you're going if you're really bad at mini games. These are big scotillas. Um. They're basically big versions of the small Skulltolas, but they don't climb on walls. All I have to do is jump slash when they turn around. Not that hard. Let's be emo! Oh crap, are you kidding me? This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to jump down. I guess I'll see you guys back at the top where I actually make it. Okay, let's not fail this time. I think the thing is I was too close to the wall. Anyways, we get a new area. No, no HC belly references. <sighs> Damn it. Why am I retarded? What the hell? Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Ow, freaking A. Thank you. Alright, DQ sticks. I think, yeah. If you're low on hearts, that thing will be hearts. If not, it'll be DQ seeds. It's kind of cool that they actually change the, the drops to what you need. DQ Skulltilla or whatever the hell your name is, I'm not gonna get you because I don't want to. It's not worth it. The only thing that's actually worth it is the um uh the 50 Skulltilla reward. That is a piece of heart. Spoiler alert, I don't really care. Um, it is a piece of heart, and uh yeah, it's not worth it at all. Hey, look at another DQ. What you got to say? Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll tell I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. 
The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? A little bit, yeah. No, he's kind of went away. Anyways, so this is an eye door. Uh, you have to hit it with your slingshot or a bow um, later on, because you get a bow later on. Uh, hit that with either one of those, and you will open the door. Look at another tutorial area. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. But there are some interesting things underwater. That's not really true. I mean, well, it's not here, but there is interesting things underwater. And when you go in here, you hit the switch with your face. I guess you face, like face planted or something. And you can lower the water. God, no freaking uh, HD Bailey references. I don't want that. <laughs> I want to be my own person. Ah. Jump. I don't know if you have to crouch when you're doing this. Yeah, just want to make sure. Oh, look at another big Skulltilla. Jump slash for the win. Stand next to this block and grab a hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing up towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. I already said that. Anyways. Alright. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, another puzzle room, apparently. Not really, it's not really hard. It was get one free blow on you, because like, there's like a delay when you hit, or what you use. Anyways, light this DQ stick to open the door of wonders. And slash to keep your DQ stick. Ooh, new item. They're really shiny. These are DQ seeds. They're small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Oh, sweet. More of them. Heart. Wonderful. Okay, there's a skull skull hill, but just roll over here and you avoid it completely. Now those are mini gomas, basically. Um, they're not really important. You only see them here, and maybe in other dungeons or not. They're not really worth mentioning. Anyways, just come through here. This is actually where my emulator crashed, right here. I'm not sure why it crashed, but it just did. So, um, yeah, I was actually kind of mad at that. I was actually kind of rage quitting, so. But I didn't. I was gonna, you know, say screw this LP, but I was like, no. I need to freaking prevail through because I need to do this LP. It's so much fun. <laughs> the monotone of my voice is obviously, you know, showing that is so much fun. Well, this part's just boring. The rest of the game is fun. This game's just, this part's just so easy. Anyways, push that block, light a DQ stick. Ooh, we didn't want to fall in the water there. And then roll. Slash. And then fall more. God, Link really needs to, like, Link, he has, like, he's such a daredevil. Anyway, here's what that DQ is talking about, the 3 DQ Babas, or 3 DQs. Um, hit them in the order of 2, this being 2, this being 3, and this being 1. How did you know our secret? Well, it wasn't that hard, it was only 3 of you. How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Okay, that's kind of weird. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Yeah, he... he if if I'm not going to kill Queen Goma here in a second, he, he would probably be killed anyway because of his traitor. Anyways, let's go here. This is the boss room, actually. So... Yeah. I'm actually going to save that for the next part, guys. So... This is Fallen Fury signing out of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.